Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to talk about the differences between Pandas and PySpark. These two are popular Python libraries or we can call it as a framework or tool. They are mainly used for data analysis and data processing. They are mainly used for big data processing. Even though they are uh, Python libraries, both are used for big data, still there are significant key differences between these two libraries in terms of processing data volume or processing data speed. Now there are major differences between these two frameworks. In this video, I'm going to cover those key differences between these two frameworks. Before understanding the differences between Pandas and PySpark, let us try to understand what are they. Starting with Pandas, what is Pandas? Pandas is nothing but one of the open source Python library that provides high performance data manipulation and analysis tool. Which means in big data processing, whenever we are processing huge amount of data, we can use Pandas library to create data frame and apply data manipulation, data transformation or any data analysis on top of that. This is built on top of NumPy library and it provides easy to use data structures such as series and data frame. In Pandas, you know, we can process um, uh, single dimensional ar array that is you know, similar to list in uh, Python and also data frame that is a uh, two dimensional you know, kind of matrix. It's nothing but you know tabular structure. It will have column and also rows. Right. Pandas is uh, widely used for data science and machine learning related projects for data cleaning, data exploration and data analysis purpose. PySpark that is uh, majorly used for data processing and data engineering side but coming to Pandas that is more suitable for machine learning and artificial intelligence. Moving to PySpark, PySpark is also another Python library or Python API that is mainly provided for Apache Spark. That is working in the concept of distributed parallel processing. This is also majorly used for data engineering and data analytics projects. It provides high level interface for programming in Spark with Python programs. And this is enabling data engineers and data scientists to write distributed data processing program in Python. And Python allows users to leverage the power of Spark distributed computing. We know the power of uh, distributed parallel processing. Spark is working in the concept of in-memory plus distributed plus in-memory. So PySpark takes the advantage of that and it helps to process big data in shorter duration with high performance. So now we understood what is Pandas and what is PySpark. Now let us walk through the differences between Pandas and PySpark. First of all, the first difference is PySpark is one of the Python library that is mainly used for Spark environment, which means Spark and Databricks projects. Spark is written in Scala that is running on JVM virtual machine that we know that as per Spark architecture. And this is uh, following Spark architecture, which means it is immutable in nature. Coming to Pandas, that is also one of the Python library that is written in Python, but that is mutable in nature. What is immutable? Immutable means you know, whenever we are creating data frame using PySpark, it cannot be changed. It can be whenever we are adding certain column on top of that or applying certain transformation on top of that internally it is going to create another data frame that is called immutable. So that this uh, helps in fault tolerance. Whenever we have to rerun the process then we don't need to worry about cleanup data cleanup or anything because it's immutable in nature based on the lazy evaluation it will just uh, start the data set from the beginning. But that is not the case with pandas. Right, coming to the second difference, this is uh, uh, you know the major difference. PySpark works in distributed uh, data processing, which means whenever we have to process some data using PySpark, data would be split into multiple blocks. Then the core, the multiple cores available within the JVM environment that will process the data 
in parallel each core will pick particular block and it will start processing so pyspark is suitable for larger data sets due to this reason but coming to pandas this is not working in parallel this is uh, this is uh, working in the concept of single node processing which means pandas will struggle to handle huge amount of data that is always suitable for smaller or you know medium amount of data this is one of the key difference and please note down this is one of the important interview question and to answer that question we have to start with this difference this is one of the major key difference so it's always better to start with this difference right the third difference as i mentioned in the second difference pyspark that works in parallel processing which means data can be split down into multiple partitions and it can be processed in parallel but that is not the case with pandas and the next difference is spark data frame that can read and write data from wide range of data sources like hdfs cassandra hbase amazon s3 adls and many more but coming to pandas you now that is limited to read data from local file system and the last difference is pyspark uses lazy evaluation but coming to pandas that is eagerly evaluation but what is the meaning of that lazy evaluation let's say we have to apply five transformations so we are uh, changing the pyspark uh, changing the data set using pyspark program now we just keep on creating five different data frame so it may it means the code is not going to be executed immediately by pyspark in the spark environment instead of that it is going to build lineage graph whenever we are going to call certain action then all the transformations will be executed one by one but what is advantage of that so whenever we are uh, giving some instructions one by one to spark environment in case it starts evaluating immediately then it might miss some optimization but whenever we are going to tell you know five uh, transformations all together then spark engine will start thinking now how i can achieve this result so it might swap um, uh, the transformations it might um, apply you know various um, uh, performance optimization techniques like you know filtering predicate push down it will apply then finally it will come up with best plan so that's the reason lazy evaluation is always better for better performance so pyspark that is working in the concept of lazy evaluation but coming to pandas that is working in the concept of eagerly evaluation Uh, still you know there are few uh, minor uh, differences between pyspark and uh, pandas but uh, these are the major differences uh, it's better to understand these uh, you know major differences while working uh, in big data projects you know based on the requirement we can go with pyspark or pandas uh, i can summarize like pandas you no know, that is more suitable for smaller or medium data set but coming to pyspark that is suitable for huge amount of data we are that is working in the concept of parallel processing but pandas that is working in the concept of single node processing i hope you understood the difference this is one of the important uh, interview question so it's very important to understand these two two differences while working in big data projects i hope you understood and enjoyed this concept if you like the content of this video please like and comment in the channel please subscribe this channel and don't forget to click on the bell button to get the latest videos on databricks thank you